So this week we are creating a character for ourselves in an anime. Uh, yeah, my first thought was I wanted to put myself in Eureka 7, but um, if I were to try anything resembling extreme sports, hilarity would ensue. I mean, for the people watching me, I mean, I would be sore and bruised and possibly unconscious, so uh, no. So I don't know what I could do fun in that world. So just no. But then I thought, hey, I should just be a somewhat sketchy shop owner and uh, a mistress, which is the, not of the world, but it's the country that uh, Full Metal Alchemist takes place in the Full Metal Alchemist world. So that'd be fun. I mean, not like evil or like anything really bad, but sort of uh, like Urahara, if I'm naming the right. I am, I think, yes. Correct me if I'm wrong, if you wish. But yeah, just kind of, you know, the guy that owns a shop is a little bit wacky. The lovable scrap. Yeah. I'm trying to learn how to speak right now. The lovable scoundrel kind of character, you know, you can come and see him and my question where some of my goods came from, so to speak. But, you know, come and see me for the various sundries you need in the full, full metal learning to speak alchemist world. Uh, yeah, I just, just be kind of fun. You know, it's, it's a, it'd be a fun kind of character. I wouldn't be exactly like Urahara. I just kind of gave him a, as an example so you know what I'm kind of hinting at, you know. So you know the character, you kind of go into the shop, they're like, hey, buy this, it's fresh, or I don't know. Uh, yeah, just probably an incidental character, as it would be in the world, but uh, just kind of fun, because you're not sure if you can trust them or not, but you know it's, you're not sure if you uh, love to hate him or hate to love him, perhaps, even though he's not a bad guy. And for the record, I don't break the law, or just sell questionable goods or anything like that. It's just kind of a, would be a fun character to be or play, so to speak. Bye-bye.